Greetings, welcome back to our WonderCon at Home live streams. We've got a special one coming right now. Uh, if you're in the New York area, you may have noticed that we have a Tamashi Nations pop-up shop, the first Tamashi Nations pop-up shop we've had in the United States. Uh, it's the largest collection of Tamashi products in the United States, and we thought it would be fun for New York Comic Con at Home to kind of give everyone else a virtual tour. You know, we're not all lucky enough to be in New York right now. Some of us are stuck with beautiful weather in the West Coast, but uh, no Tamashi <laughs> pop-up shop. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so we thought, uh, you know, Justin, AJ, and myself, we'd uh, kind of take you through the ins and the outs of the Tamashi Nation's uh, pop-up shop, which right now is the last remaining place to get the Blue Godzilla. You know, the response was overwhelming on our website, and we sold out of the Blue Godzilla already. You know, we're only a couple hours into WonderCon. So if you want a Blue Godzilla and you're in the New York area, uh, the best way to get it is to, is to stroll over to the pop-up shop that we're about to show you. So, uh, yeah, so Justin, AJ, you guys ready to go on a, a tour? Yeah. Heck yeah, let's do it. So, Hold on. Yeah, it's like a three-hour tour. It's like Gilligan's Island without all the other <laughs> right. stuff. So. Right. Uh, can you see the screen? Heck yeah, we can. Yes. All right. Amazing. So we literally just walked in. You can see as we turn around here, here's the entrance. That's Everybody. New York City. Oh, yeah. Fridays. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you can see we have some awesome props for the uh, Godzilla vs. Kong movie. Let's see if we can get in a little bit closer here. Hold on. Ooh, look at that! I like how fans are uh, getting a little more, a uh, little more clever with their asking for uh, Godzilla vs. Kong uh, products. They're like, "Will insert spoiler here be made available in Kong vs. Godzilla monster monster?" Arts? Right, right. <laughs> Time will the tell, ins, right? Yeah, the, the instant we can tell you if if there is in fact any other figures coming down the line for Godzilla vs. Kong, we will be sure to tell you because we love talking about you know Godzilla. And, right yeah. and reveals and and as much as we want to tell you things sometimes we just have to wait but yeah. these props look amazing that's like uh the skull crawler eggs i guess is what i'm looking mm -hmm. at yeah i nice. got some costumes you can see the poster down there you know uh i think that uh one of the one of the great things about congress godzilla is the you know, the iconography of these giant giant monsters beasts so um uh -huh. yeah it's i can't wait wednesday Wednesday, yes, on HBO Max and in theaters. If you are so brave to venture out, I don't know Where if there's any. Yeah, exactly. There is a Godzilla Monster Arts. Is that behind me? No. Yeah. It's just yeah, inside so the class. It's actually right in there. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the Kong and Godzilla, the Kong and uh, Godzilla SH Monster Arts from the new movie are in there, uh, and I believe they may even have the blue guy and the blue one in there. Yeah, I don't think. I think when this was taken i don't think that that was inside this case it's probably there now but when this, this rendering was done i don't think it exists in this case yeah and it's cool that monster arts you know um you know they, they the figures are incredible you know so we obviously are talking about Kong and godzilla here but you know recently they've done the monster arts ones and I, a monster hunter ones uh and i know the new game came out but you know so far we have you know rathalos and Narcacuga, uh and you know zenogre will be coming out uh, later this year so uh, the line is definitely doing well, so you know, Tamashi is looking to see who they should make next. So you know, definitely let us know. You know, at so at, at Bluefin Brands, at Tamashi Nations, you know, tweet at us. You know, maybe with a gif of your favorite monster from Monster Hunter, and let us know. Hey, you guys should make insert character here. Right. Totally. <laughs> they love doing that. <laughs> People have suggested uh, making hunters as well, like not just that the monsters. Kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be cool. I get to get an SHF uh, hunter. <laughs> Uh, I forget which brand we used. I think it was Sentinel, but I know there was some Monster Hunter stuff before that was like that, and I thought that was really cool. Uh, but obviously, it's not Tamashi, and you know they do have the Saint Seiya line that does something like that with armor, so that'd be kind of cool to see. Yeah, shiny armor. Yeah. Now, have you guys had a, had a moment to check out uh, Pacific Rim: The Black? On Netflix? I have. I have actually watched the entire thing. It's only like six episodes, I think. Right. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that it. A robot spirits comes out in a couple months. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The black, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Is it, a, it? Is it? Is it a prequel? AJ? It takes place before the first movie. It actually takes place after the second movie. Like I oh. was having a struggle figuring out because I'm like, I don't know the <laughs> timeline of this. And mm -hmm. there's a scene like in the later episodes where it kind of reveals plots of the second movie. I'm like, okay, this is definitely after the second movie. We're good <laughs> now. I know. 
Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I, I got I got the vibe. I'm like, is that a prequel to the original? And I couldn't I couldn't tell if the brothers that were in the trailer were like uh, you know Charlie yeah. Lee's character from the original. And so that's good to know that's a sequel to the sequel. It's like you get like a yeah, yeah you get like a two point five at this point. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, moving on, we have some premium Bandai exclusives. We have the SHF Hit, which just went off a of pre-order last weekend. And then we also have Cooler, which is available now. And that guy is a beast. Look at how big he is. It's hard, that's yeah. as close as I can get, but you can see he's, <laughs> uh, he's a towering monster. Yeah, Cooler is awesome. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of people have been hungering for a figure like him. And you know the response has been pretty overwhelming as far as people just... Uh, you know, usually you post something and you have your, your fair share of naysayers, but uh, with Cooler, it's been very, very positive. So it's been a lot of fun. But yeah, go to yeah. p-bandai.com slash US, and you can pick up your uh, your Cooler. You can pre-order them. I think he drops in September. That's good. I mean, like, you know, everyone loves Dragon Ball figures, so the more the merrier at this point. Yeah, you can't have too many. You, just like, you can't have too much Pac-Man. Pac-Man's not oh, really sure. a that, that gets a lot of love. But, you know, because of that, it's such an iconic, you know, anyone who's a fan of video games, you know, owes some form of some form of debt to, you know, the the, the Titans that came before, like Pac-Man, Space Invaders and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, uh, like right there is the prop, I think, uh, the Waka Waka and then the Chogokin. And I think I am excited for those because I know the Chogokin one, you could change the fist to the ghost. And I'm like, all right, cool. I could launch the ghost instead of my fist. I like that idea. <laughs> I think there's also like a mini pac-man involved in there too so it's like a pac-man controlling pac-man yeah he opens up it's yeah. like a cockpit it shows yeah. him actually popping up he's like yeah. in the mouth driving like an old like mm-hmm. world war ii yeah. thing. it's like <laughs> the pacific so cool. rim robots except it's pac-man <laughs> yeah better and then uh the instamashi account on instagram released a video of the waka waka pac-man and all the the sounds that it makes and it has a, a little rolly uh gimmick on the bottom mm-hmm. so as you you move it along the mouth chomps and plays the music from the arcade. Yeah, and there's going to be an SH figure arts for it. You know, Hobby's going to make model kits for it. Uh, it's all coming up Pac-Man. It's almost like yeah. brain synergy, you know. It's right. almost like he's a Bandai property. <laughs> it's uh 40th anniversary, right? Uh, yeah, well, it was the 40th anniversary. Yeah. Oh, this year is 40th anniversary, yeah. Yeah. Last year or this year, I don't know. Yeah. Well, all right. Do you want to go clockwise or kind of clockwise? How do you want to Yeah, I, I think just looking at the... You stay right there for a second. You know, uh, I think that... The, just the look of the the pop up shop is 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 amazing. I know we're looking at kind of a distorted three D version of it, but uh, <laughs> that's what my vision normally looks like, Dave. I'm so <laughs> blind without my glasses. <laughs> I just I'm constantly like I can't see. I can't traverse this earth. It's so. But yeah, I, I, I've seen so many pictures, you know, and I, I'm so jealous that we're not able to go to New York to see it, you know, because you know we had the hobby shop and it was luckily enough that was in our backyard, so we were able to visit that whenever we wanted to. To where this one is. Mm-hmm. Like really, really next level, and uh, you know, just have to live vicariously through photos and virtual tours. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like I guess we'd have, you know, it's got nice to spread the love of everything. So you know, probably people should comment where you know, say a pop up shop like this should be at, you know, whatever city you guys are in. That Twenty nine palms, <laughs> right by the base. <laughs> yeah, someone commented in New York, and I'm like, what? You're commenting on a post from New York? He's like, yeah, I just want, I just wanted to stay here. <laughs> yeah, BD. Outside of New York, where should we go next? Uh, but wherever you want to go, Justin, we're, uh, we're, you are driving. We're at your mercy. All right. So just to give you a layout of the store really quick, uh, you can see it's sort of got that little foyer as you enter where you get to see all the props. You come in through here, and then we have the register, and safety protocols are being taken. You can see the plexiglass there. Uh, we should also okay. mention that they limit the amount of people that come into the building at a time uh, just for safety reasons. We want to maintain social distancing. Mm-hmm. Masks are required, you know. Masks are required, yes. It be a surprise to anybody in today's day, but yeah, the mask will be required to go in. Um, so please take all necessary precautions. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. SH Figure Arts. Woo. All right, let's go um, left to right, bottom to top. How about that? Sure. And I'm going to mute myself because there's gardeners all over the place, and you guys get to do all the talking. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. I mean, like from the bottom, it looks like those are the bricks and the walls. Those are really fun little props to go with any of your SH figures. Like I know you have like your Spike Spiegel leaning on it. Uh, you can have like your Marvel superheroes break through it. Like those old uh, commercials where you're just like, bam, my character breaking through the toy. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like they got the, bo- the, bo- looks like the, yeah. Bo- the body coon, the body chan. Oh, that's right. Those are wonderful for artists as well. So 
Yeah, little blank SH figure arts, and they come with just a ton of fun accessories. And what's really cool about those is, you know, they come with the stand that it comes on, and the stand Damn. instead of being like your traditional like flat stand, like you know, something like this to where it's flat at the bottom, uh, you know, it's actually a, a little like case, and it opens up, and you can store all your accessories in there. So, so that's definitely something that's awesome. Yeah, I think those are the Mar those Marvel ones. Yeah, yeah like definitely. Yes, yeah, so the final battle edition, which we're giving away if you go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest. Yeah. You can enter to win a full set of those. So, um, yeah, we've been talking a lot of Marvel lately. So, if you haven't watched any of our live streams, check them out. It's all Marvel all the time. Yeah. Justin actually won our last live stream. It was uh, Clark and the three of us uh, talking about the greatest uh, street level superhero. And we were assigned two random people. And uh, yeah, Justin took he the He won by tying the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tie your shoes, folks. I'll take yeah. it. I'll take it. And there's a, there's a White Ranger here too, I suppose. Oh, nice, oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, the Marvel stuff is is great. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, that Dragon Ball that's next over down there that looks like Dragon yeah. Ball. Yeah, that's cool. I think uh, again, these figures you might as like if you're in the area, you live in New York, and you've been wanting a figure because you know, say like a certain check came through. <laughs> Well, it's always fun to purchase <laughs> and, uh, and get like a couple new figures you wanted. Sure. So what do we got yeah. there? We got uh, is that the Dymo? Is that the yeah. Oh yeah. And then we got a Bardock, and then uh, Tao Pai Pai. Oh, right. Yeah, Goku and Ginyu. I guess this is who that is. Yeah, is the big like box. Yeah, I'm blind. This is like okay. uh, this is like those eye tests, you know, one or two, two or three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, so you guys, you guys are at least like you have your computer right in front of you to to get all this majesty in front of you. My computer is like like literally like seven feet from me. So you need more than are... twenty twenty vision. Right. I need like like binoculars or something. <laughs> But oh, also boxes. the Tamashi, like in this store too, like they have the display at the very top above everything, and that is just fantastic. I mean, sure, no one's really that tall, but you know, look how wonderful they are in that case. And like, I want my <laughs> figure displayed in a case exactly like that. Oh, so, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. The um, Good Smile was next to us at Toy Fair, and they had white cupboards that were glass like that and they looked glorious i was like oh my god look at how pretty all these figures are in these glass cases <laughs> yeah yeah we got the black ones we contrast yeah then we have oh, the little uh, auras. auras yeah the auras yeah. i think is that the dragon radar right beside it too that's yeah, cool. I'm trying to move back over hold please holding it's there hard to are. function in a digital space yeah <laughs> it's like left is Forward? No, dude. Clicking is forward. Yeah, it's the Dragon Radar, then uh, Piccolo the Proud Namekian. I think mm -hmm. that's the figure that that one is, and then it looks like Bulma. Bulma, yeah, and then back to more Marvel. Yeah, right. yeah, got Loki. yeah. The Captain America Final Battle Edition might be my favorite SH figure arts of all time. It comes with the broken shield, the full shield, and um, yeah, it's just great. You can have him with his helmet on, with his helmet off. There's just so many, so many options. So does it come with Thor's hammer or do you gotta get Thor to get Thor's hammer? It does come with Thor's hammer and it comes with the like lightning effect parts as well. So it's it's pretty great. So enter to win. It's definitely something to pick up then. <laughs> right. No, totally. Yeah. And then that's the captain versus captain next to it. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And that one comes with a really cool effect part where um, you know, it looks it's like a looks like a like a wind effect and you put the shield in it, it looks like you're bouncing the shield off a wall oh, or right. off the ground. So yeah, yeah, so so it's just the little details that are come with these figure arts that, that really really accent the uh, the accessories mm -hmm. and uh, it's something that Tamashi is just just killing it with right now. Totally. Kind of like Ultraman next right beside it. That's cool. Like I always like the Ultraman uh, figures that are always there. I think like all the armor figure SH figures. Uh, you know, there's I have I have some kind of problem with like if it's like skin. So like a lot of the Dragon Ball characters, I'm not really fond of collecting, but anything that's armored. Like uh, or like just monster arts in general, they look fantastic to me. So the Ultraman ones are <laughs> great. <laughs> right. So you don't have a lot of cami uh, Street Fighter I figures. Then. Don't have a lot of Street Fighter. <laughs> like, like they really look cool, and I like playing with them when we go to our shows, and then we have to set up the displays. I'm like, oh, this is so good, but it's not themed to my uh, collection. <laughs> Your armor aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. makes sense. I'm always looking to get into Ultraman. Where would you recommend I start, AJ? Should I just start with the Netflix series? Should I sure. go back in time? Where's a good place to start if I was interested in Ultraman? Yeah, I think if you want to watch like Ultraman, I know that uh, obviously like the Netflix series exists. And then I know they they do actually show official episodes. 
on like YouTube. Uh, so that's always a thing to do now. Like you can always uh, catch up on it. And I believe I've seen a couple of like actual DVDs and stores. Uh, so that's a really good place to start too. So if you're like at a Walmart, uh, I'm sure if you go down like electronics, you might see that to pick up and then boom. Cool. I'm doing yeah. it. The first comic book I ever purchased with my own money was an Ultraman comic. Oh, man. Wow. I know. <laughs> and then here's another look at the uh, display case that you're talking about. Oh, and it's got the Proplica in there, too. Oh, that looks great. Look at that Thanos. Yeah, in the last live stream, I think, David, you mentioned Thanos sitting on the pipe. And yeah. uh, he looks glorious. <laughs> Whoa. I think that's like a Loki no... far left. <laughs> yeah. I think you can see it. Loki, yeah. then a Captain, then a Hulk, Iron Spider. And then is that chubby, chubby Thor? <laughs> Thor, so. yeah. It looks good. And you got Guinea just going like, "Hey, look at me!" Yeah, <laughs> what's yeah. his candy? He stands yeah, out. Like even uh, every time, like, to actually does display like all these wonderful stuff. I, uh, I get jealous. Like, you know, we're not there for in New York for this one. And I think even last year when we did the Tamashi tour, you know, Clark and I went through it, and we were just oogling and like really wanting to physically be there but we couldn't so it's totally. a darn shame yeah that's a mushy event in october the one you and clark went through is is truly impressive you know i got to go yeah. to it when it was still in person in 2019 and it's like it's actually there's, it's actually like two locations like they have one location oh. just for robots and they have one location for like all like the figure arts the figure arts zeros the figure arts mini mm -hmm. and stuff like that and so just when you go through this huge room and you see there can't be anything else. They're like, oh no, no, no! That, this is just robots. <laughs> we got to go across the street. Oh, <laughs> I don't get like, lost in those robots, man. I'm with AJ. I love the robot stuff. Yeah, yeah. I I, I was oh, there. There's like, the blue Godzilla. He's like, I don't know what this is, but I want it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, blue Godzilla. Like I said, we sold out on our website. Uh, you guys, uh, you you guys, uh, you guys cleaned us out. But if you're in the <laughs> New York area, uh, you can get your blue color edition Godzilla at the New York pop up shop. Uh, in uh, Manhattan. So in the area, definitely, definitely check it out. Uh, you see the Brawley and Vegito. Uh, Brawley and Vegito, uh, figure out zeros. You know, we have them on stock, in stock at bluefinbrands.com for this weekend for WonderCon at home. Uh, but if you are in the New York area and you're already picking up the Blue Godzilla, you can definitely pick them up there as well. Nice. Oh, here's a, the boxes for the, the, the Brawley. <laughs> there you go. If oh, you really big. want to just go and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing's a brick. And we we had a Brawly version in uh, C2E2, I remember, but this is a different color variant of it, I suppose. Yeah. Usually, like, during shows, like, whenever people buy, like, the figure arts or something that has, like, a really large box, like, oh, man, sometimes our bag's not big enough for it, but, yeah. you know, do you mind if you, like, just hold on to it like that or come back, we'll pack it differently for you. But the box is huge. Yeah, it should have handles. <laughs> Yeah, we do on it's Friday right. when you buy like all like these big old things of toilet paper and they put like the sticker on it that's a handle. Yeah. Yeah. We, we just need to do something like that. There you go. It could, it could tear the packaging when you try to remove it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. well, and that would be sad. It would be sad. And you got the May Show, the movie realization Star Wars May Show figures by Tomashi Nations. They are excellent. We have, oh, I think the only one I have behind me now is just the Mandalorian that was the P Bandai. So, I don't want to taunt everyone since it's no longer <laughs> for pre-order, but uh, yeah, the Mayshow figures are are definitely incredible. Uh, so it looks like in the shop, you know, they have Vader, they have three PO, uh, mm. you know, they have looks like Boba Fett and a couple of the stormtroopers. Uh, you know, this was taken a couple of days ago, so you know if you get there and maybe one or two of them are sold out, you know, um, that that would be why this is not a real time rendering of the store. Uh, but you know, it's a good chance that they will have a lot of these in stock, if not all of them. You know, you got Kylo Ren, you got Phasma, you got the First Order Stormtroopers there, Shadow Troopers. Um, so much fun. So so yeah, like possible. The C three PO and the Phasma are really shiny too, in, in terms of paint application, and I I like that. Like I like that Phasma looks like it is armor, like it is shiny shiny armor. Whereas like you know, you get Darth Vader, you're like, okay, this is. Not as shiny, but right. this looks like. But it looks like a real armor, and I like how they were able to apply that to these figures. And Vader has uh, purple highlights in his armor too. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. And you know, looking up at this glass case, uh, the the drummer and the spear and the and the archer, those are like mm -hmm. three of my favorites. And it's so sad that you can't get those anymore. <laughs> I like yeah, this that's an army right there. He's got the he's got the little Gatling. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. 
Well, Spear oh, Trooper. Oh. Yeah, there's so many, uh, so many cool flourishes on the uh, the Misha figures. Yep. More troopers. I agree. Bring it. And uh, Maul, he oh, looks like we don't have Maul here, but um, you can see in this glass case, he has two two sabers, and they mm-hmm. also form together to be one big one, like his double bladed, which is great. Yeah. And he has a mask that looks just like his face, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I do it's like that one time, weird. like the first time I found that out, like he'd kind of fell off my hands. I'm like, oh no, something fell. I'm like, oh, it's just his mask. You could take this off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. It's even more menacing underneath, and I'm like, oh, never mind. Let's put it back on. Yeah. Back on, back on. No, too yeah. much, too much. Better day small. Yeah, yeah. And we got Goku. Take a picture with Goku. Yeah. And then tag us in it. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. It's too much. I'm going to just say SSG, SS, <laughs> stuff yeah. like that. Or Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah, there yeah, you go. There are definitely two camps, and they are both vocal. And so if you say it one way, the other camps can be like, no, no, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. But if you say it the other way, like, just say Super Saiyan Blue. It's easier. I like it when he's got the blue hair. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Just say blue from now on. Yeah, yeah. like concert Goku, where he's ready to rock and roll. The blue hair, yeah, color changing. Uh, yeah, so here we have kind of some of the, some of the new releases. You know, we talked a, re- uh, a little bit ago about the Monster Arts uh, Monster Hunter figures. Yeah, there we have Nargakuga and Rathalos. Uh, and then to the right we have the Imagination Works Goku, uh, which is the uh, the slightly larger. I think it's a, it's a nine inch figure. Uh, it's got the the hidden hidden joints. Uh, comes with a really cool stand. It's got uh, uh, I think twelve different eye sets, so you can have him looking left and looking right, or looking straight forward. Uh, and he can be either his base form with the black hair, or he can be the Super Saiyan yellow hair. So lots and lots of options. Uh, Imagination Works is one of the newer lines from Tamashi. Uh, so far, we only have uh, Goku has been has been has been released, and uh, Luffy is going to be the next one we announced, uh, and I think that's coming later this summer. Yeah, Shonen collection. <laughs> yeah, and, like next to it too is like the Monster Hunter. Like, uh, so I got my copy for Monster Hunter Rise yesterday, and I know Justin got his as well. So I haven't been able to hunt yet. <laughs> it's <but> last tutorial. <laughs> I've been I've been collecting, uh, you know, shrooms and herbs and all that kind of jazz. But any kind of big monsters is a uh, I have not seen any yet. But I cannot wait to hunt down like a Rathalos and Argakuga and. You know, Zenogre and stuff. Zenogre actually is my favorite yeah. monster. He's in it too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so cool. like, I can't wait for when that uh, monster comes out because that's an insta buy from me. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, they look great, two- and they photograph really well too. Same with the May Show. They all photograph so well. Yeah, I think like you took a photo too of like the Rathalos and the Narku out like on your backyard. Yeah, that on the great. garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little garden party with monsters. It was, it was fun. And uh, his tail is ridiculous, the Rathalos tail, and um, it's mm-hmm. it comes with a, a stand uh, to support him and everything, so you can have him like he's swooping down to to mm-hmm. take his prey. It's pretty great. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Chris Cooper saying, "Is the glass case for sale?" Uh, man, I wish. Get in line. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I got ticket number one. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, the artwork's really cool too. You got the demons there right in the background. You got the monster oh, arts. Yeah. We had, you know, we had the uh, the stuff for uh, you know, Dragon Ball on the other side. So it's definitely really cool to see, uh, you know, just to see it all come to life. You know, we don't have a lot of stores like this in the United States, so it's cool to see, you know, them bringing bringing the influence from Japan. Absolutely, oh, that's good stuff. Uh, from t- uh, bottom to top, we have was that swordfish, and then we have a metal build. Ava, which is still in stock, I believe, at the moment. It was right? earlier today, so uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. as of like nine o'clock our time, which is twelve o'clock their time, uh, they there still was a handful of Ava metal builds. Uh, I know the quantities are limited; like I think they're in the in the, the low double digits. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so definitely, definitely get there. And then you know, you got the your gun, your fixed figuration next door. Looks like yeah, it's a Zaku two. That's the green one, uh, which actually goes for a pretty decent amount. If you can get this at retail, which you can at our location, obviously, uh, that's not a bad one to pick up. I actually have that that figure. It's incredible. Love the, nice. the Gundam Fix figuration. They come with a ton of accessories. They're really heavy and beefy. It's, uh, they're, they're quite remarkable. They have die-cast joints, and uh, the articulation on these things is phenomenal. Who they're doesn't like die-cast toys? <laughs> no. Die cast metal. It's so good. That's where it's at, yeah, man. And what's cool about the Gundam Fix figuration is they really keep their pose well. So, you know, usually what's great about them is you get these crazy, like, flying poses. 
but a lot of things, you know, like the joints kind of get weak or something like that, and it kind of loses its 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 strength and uh, integrity. But uh, but these, I mean, we've had we've had this guy up for months, and uh, he seems to be doing just fine. No, absolutely. And they have the they come with a, an awesome base and stand that has a locking mechanism, so you can have him. You can position him as if he's flying or if he's coming down for a landing and the the stand and arm locking mechanism is strong enough to support him however you really want to pose him. Cool. Super robots. They're robots that are super. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'm a fan. I'm a fan, man. AJ's got me hooked on super robots. I don't even know anything about them. I just know that they're really cool and they're big and they're heavy and I buy it. Sometimes that's the case. Like, you don't need to really know its history. Usually, like, I know what looks cool and this is it. (laughs) Right. It's a 1977, but, you know, no one's ever talked about it since then. But here's a super robot for it. And now it's like, okay, I I need it. Give it. (laughs) Sometimes it's just as simple as the package on the art looks so good. I'm going to have to pick one up myself. Totally. Um, yeah. And we have like three or four available too with uh, Titanus available right there to the end. Yeah. So that's cool. I like that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. What was the name? What's the name of the new, uh, the Gordian warrior? Or the oh, new... that's the, oh, yeah, the nasty one. Yeah. Gordian. Yeah. Warrior. That yeah. one. I know you really like. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I, I, don't, I didn't know anything about the show and just, Seeing these, uh, this, this Japanese robot nesting doll, I'm like, wow, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a robot that goes in a robot that goes in a robot. Yeah. Yeah. Robot. At one point, at, <laughs> yeah, at one point he turns from human to footballer, and then footballer to like actual robot, and then the end result is just big robot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to fight in any of the other forms. It seems like he just goes in. Like I watched like a couple of, like like fast forward to a couple episodes, and he's always in like his max level form. So it's like. I understand why he has all of the other robots. Way to do it, man. Because like Power Rangers get Smart. beat up until they form together. <laughs> Voltron uh, gets beat up until he comes together. But he's starting at the very end. I'm gonna already be big and uh, strong. <laughs> if yep. you seem to if you beat me here, well then I'm doomed, but I've got extra forms underneath me. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know why this doesn't go right to the max form and just skip all the in-between robots. Yeah, totally. I That's can't control it that way. You ever put that small figure in that big figure? It's not. It's gonna shake. Right. <laughs> Pack it in. Yeah. Maybe it's like bubble wrap or something. Now we're talking. So the Gundam universe is here, which is great. You got uh, yes. Burning Gundam, aka God Gundam, a Tall Geese. Uh, uh, what is that one in the middle there? It's a, a strike. I can't see. I'm blind. It looks yeah. like Strike Easy 8. Yeah, Strike Easy 8. So it's like uh, recent like three waves or so of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's That's great cool. to see them all just kind of displayed like that. You know, just and I'm sure at the top, I'm sure they have all of all yeah. 12, yeah. all 12 of the uh, the currently released Gundam, uh, uh, Gundam Universe figures. Uh, it's such a cool line. You know, we, we, we were fortunate. You know, we were here from its infancy as employees here. And uh, just it's been great to see it kind of grow and flourish. Yeah, because yeah, totally. sometimes, you know, like I like, you know, model kit building, but sometimes I just want that figure right then and now. And I think the Gundam Universe figures are great. I think, uh, which one did I mess around with? I messed with one of the Wing Gundams. And I was like, oh, this is exactly like how I remember it back in like early 2000s when like Walmart sold those figures. I'm like, this is what I want right now. But, right. you know, maybe Saturday, oh, I'll build a kit instead. <laughs> 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 yeah for me the lazy one i'll just take the figure and i'll be like yeah look at this this is amazing oh and yeah. you can see if you look up in this display you can see a, the zaku 2 uh being supported by that stand which works really well nice and then there's also a dyna action uh ava next to him that thing's a beast uh david is there still <laughs> one behind you in the studio uh yeah it's it's crouching in that uh in that case it's leaning, so. leaning back like Ugh! Yeah, here, hold on. Let me do, let me show you how big that is. Let's this is a monster. Huge. This is my giant head next to it. <laughs> it, can, it can literally yeah. sit on my shoulder. So yeah, no, it's a, it is a, it is a monster of a figure. It's so great. Yeah, like and especially then, even if you pair it beside like Storm too. Like we know that like uh, Doomsday is ten inches tall. So for him to stand right beside him, whew, yeah, it yeah, comes with this, a, this this super articulated stand. Uh, and what's actually interesting about the stand, sorry, let me put you down. You're not in a standing pose right now. So, <laughs> uh, is that it actually flexes at the at the middle, so that you know even if it's heavy on one side or the other, you know the flex will make sure it stands flat. So uh, when Justin and I were first playing with it, when it first came in, I was like, oh man, it's not going to hold. But it's got this tiny, just like an infinitesimal amount of of um, 
of, uh, of slack. And because of that, mm. it allows the figure to always be able to stand up. So uh, good job, Tamashii Nations. That's yeah. cool. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah you will. <laughs> take the entire stock. <laughs> yes. No, that's pretty cool, man. That's, then it comes with the, the, the world's smallest Shinji, which is great. Yes. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Someone yeah, came in here oh, when I wasn't no. here. <laughs> Gotta lock the door. I do, I do lock the door. I gotta <laughs> lock it and then try it to make sure it stays locked. No, I gotta talk you to gotta... the people who have keys to like don't let people in. <laughs> right. All right. So we have some figure art zero. Uh, what is that? A Gilgamesh have, over there. You know, we have like Gara from Naruto and then Gilgamesh, and then it looks like we have uh, the cooler one also. Yeah, that's a sweet yeah. figure too. We sell that. Uh, we I think we sold out during our last show, which is pretty great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. Another. So we got cool stuff in the background. Right. <laughs> we wanted to grab these things off the shelf. Uh, but yeah, cooler is really cool. Really, I don't want to say. Oh, cool. are you big? Hold on. Let me go to your screen. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cooler is cool. That's cooler. Is, <laughs> cooler is in fact cool. It's got this yeah. this crazy colorful base. You know, it's got the explosion effect. Mm-hmm. It's got the you know the, the kick swirling effect. Uh, you know, just the detail on cooler himself is is, is second to none. So. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, like Justin said, we we had we had an event, our Spring of Savings event uh, last month, and uh, actually it was really this month, and we completely sold out of Cooler here. So uh, the best place you're going to be able to get it is at the Tomashi Nations pop up in New York City. So and I love area. how it's matted too. Like you know, usually with statues and stuff like that, you're you're usually going to expect like some kind of similar quality, but I love it when they're like they make it the texture on there look like the texture, you know, for in this case, cooler has a matted feel, but like there's translucent, shiny parts. Right. And the rocks are also pretty matted as well. But I love it when like statues do that. Yeah. Cause yeah. then when the light hits it, it really pops. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll never be able to recreate the lighting situation, but the way, <laughs> the way the base is like, it, it really looks like the bottom part is glowing. Like, you know, where the explosion would be. And it's really just a, a real subtle, like yellow, like uh, dry brush on it, it. Looks like, and just the way the lights hit it is just, it just looks really beautiful. Good. It'll look good in your room. Everyone, go buy one of these things. Head over yeah. to New York. Everyone go to New York and, and pick one up. There you uh, go. We have a vicious from Cowboy Bebop, uh-huh. and it looks like case closed. Which we also had. We had a bundle of these guys uh, during that same event just two yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Oh. I have like my friend Kenny in the chat. Hey Kenny, thanks for joining. <laughs> nice. Hey Kenny, we're we're in New York. <laughs> the NX Edge. What are those? Uh, am I looking at Avas? Avas? Yeah, those look yeah. like the Avas. There's that ugly one with all the crazy arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But it's still an Ava unit. Yep. Yeah, yeah we're right next to the looks of the robot spirits. Yep. Like robot those spirits, are Ava. Ava robot spirits. Yep. Then we yes. have. The All the figure arts minis. Figure arts minis. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, yes. it looks like the Demon Slayer ones. It looks like there's the Ava ones as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, the Madoka ones as well. And the FGO stuff. That's great. Yeah, look at all those. Man, yeah. so many minis. Yeah, well, yeah then I, know had, like... I, know, I know they've had to re- restock the, uh, the Demon Slayer uh, minis a couple times. So uh, if you go in and out there, ask the salesperson, and uh, you know, he'll be able to let you know like, <laughs> if and when they're going to get more. <laughs> Go go check the back, buddy. Let's get some Demon Slayer minis over here. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the new Sailor Moon animation color version SH figures. Those look wonderful. Like, it's weird. Like, I like it well, that we get reprints of uh, certain characters, and then the fact that they want to make it into its TV color. Like, that's fantastic. I know that in the Tamashi walkthrough that we did last year, they they showed that for the Dragon Ball characters too. And I was like, right. "Ooh, that's another chance at Krillin." Uh, that's another chance at characters pretty much a lot of people have missed. And this time you get to have their animation colors on it. So it's a little bit more saturated, I guess. So, sure. so it's right around the time the figures hit like the $300 mark. And it's like, okay, it's <laughs> yeah. time to redo these. <laughs> it's time to redo. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. Everybody's yelling at us because they didn't buy it the first time. Right. Yeah. Gotta get it, man. Yeah. yeah. I also like how the minis are perfect for like, just like desk space too. Like you can see in the display, like it doesn't take up as much as say like the dine action, but they're <laughs> cute and perfect the way they are. It goes like in those small little cubbies where you don't have too much space. <laughs> right. Yeah. I've got Justin's yeah. favorite figure out mini for his buddy Shinji Akari. And you can see yeah, they're just, they're just this nice little perfect, you know, little size that will fit perfectly on your yeah. desk. Does Asuka's arm pop off? 
I wonder. Uh, I think all their arms pop off. Whether or not it's you know, designed to pop off. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of them have like sw- uh, swappable arms, or uh, I think they have some swappable faces as well. So they got yeah. glittery eyes. Glittery eyes. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Glittery, eyes. glittery oh. eyes. That's oh, and look at uh, Conan's on his little uh, skateboard there. Skateboard. Oh, yeah. nice. They did like two renditions of that too. One with the skateboard, one with like a soccer one. I think it's great. I love like I'm a accessory person, so sometimes even if I'm not a fan of like the how characters with just their flesh, I'm like, ah, oh, but you got a really good accessory. I gotta have that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Give me them cups and bowls and <laughs> napkins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> speaking of which, like you know, like Dragon Ball has that uh set coming out too. It's just a chair and like the food. Now that's a set to get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. There's the Dynaction box. That's so big. I think those we, are like okay. SIC Common Rider beside it, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And when you go to the Tamashi Nations pop up, you know, they do have, you know, uh, some Tamashi swag when you for with purchase. I think there's like special bags, uh, and there are going to be a couple uh, Tamashi branded items that I don't think they've announced what they're going to be yet, um, you know, available with purchase. So you'll, you'll really like it. I can't, uh, is that the, like a diorama there? Uh, uh, cash register. Yeah, it's just a register, but it's just looking at the. It looks like a ghost and uh, yeah, it looks like ghost Ryuki and like Kuga possibly. So yeah, yeah, those are new SICs are really cool too, especially uh the ghost one just because you get his uh you get pretty much two armors for it, so I think you get two figures for one. And right, I will definitely for take one. two figures for one. <laughs> yeah, and he's got like that. Uh, Sort of wardrobe looking thing where it yeah dressed you know, up on the that mannequin type deal, mm-hmm. and then the Ryuki has the dragon, right? Yeah, you get the dragon. That's definitely something uh, people should want, right? <laughs> like, who doesn't want a dragon? <laughs> I do. I'll yeah. take two dragons. Okay. Dragon. No one wants a dragon. Yeah, two dragons gonna get weird. <laughs> and then Double here's some dragon. Fun little info on Tomash Nations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The soul right. is in the yeah. detail. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Means soul. yeah, it does. You must have learned it from your did you learn it from your classes? No, I learned it uh, I had to write a press release for Tomash. <laughs> I better write some press release for Tomash Nation. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But I did get I, I did get bonus credit in my Japanese class for knowing that. Someone nice. said something like, Well, Tomashi means soul, and they're like, Oh, good job. Nice. Oh, and then here's a here's a Godzilla statue out front too. Yeah. You guys traveled with us so many times. Like I've had to, uh, you know, touch him up a little bit because you know traveling with that big boy to from state to different state, uh, he's definitely needs to be hunkered down. So he sometimes gets a little blemishes. So we got to fix him up. But yeah. I love that statue. Like every time I see him, oh, there you are. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Where are you hiding? <laughs> yeah. yeah, comes in a pretty big crate. Yeah, yeah my, my first trade show with Bluefin Brands was at C2E2 in 2019, and we brought True. the Godzilla for the first time. So I remember everyone's like, well, how do we put this thing together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The tailbone's connected to the backbone. <laughs> Snakes don't necessarily have pots. pots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's it. That's your Tamashi pop up shop. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're in the New York area, it's definitely worth checking out. You should definitely head over there. Uh, you know, if you do, you know, let us know at Bluefin Brands at Tomashi Nations. You know, tag us on all the social platforms. We would love to love to see what you picked up, what you saw, what you liked, uh, and just help share the experience with everybody. And uh, and like I said, there is definitely going to be some swag at the at the event. So if you follow at Bluefin Brands and follow at Tomashi Nations, you know, as soon as they are releasing the info, we'll let you know. Like, hey, stop by this weekend. They're giving away blank. So um, yeah. I have uh, I found the address and everything. Found the address. address. Oh, nice! It's I across the New Fridays. York, That's it. One zero one seven. I think it's yeah, right, right beside like the Puma store as well. So, uh, you know, all you I gotta do is look for except, those. I know everything except the first three numbers of the address. It's like seven zero four. Six zero five. He's in a different. <laughs> Shut it by a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. I went too far. Six zero five Fifth Avenue, New York, New York. That's exciting stuff. Make it happen. Nice. Ground floor. Yeah. yeah. The cross is the Friday, so get something to eat afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> get apps, you know, go to the go to Mashi, you know, make it make make an evening of it. Exactly. <laughs> they are open eleven AM to seven PM daily. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Take your special someone there. 
Yeah. This is what I'm into. Yeah. And there, there is less crowds during the week, mind you. Uh, Monday cool. through Thursday, it's a lot easier to get in, much less wait time. Oh, Strong nice. Yeah, People absolutely. got work. And they got work, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they, like Justin mentioned earlier, they are they are following all you know social distancing and you know safety protocol for COVID. So there is a you know there will be a line outside, only limited number of people allowed inside. You know uh, masks will be required. You know all that jazz. So yeah, easy peasy, gotcha. easy peasy. Well, we like, look we transported to New York. Now we're back again. So uh, <laughs> yeah, if you uh, if you have the means and uh, you are you feel it is safe to do so, please go to New York and visit our pop up shop. Uh, like I said, it's the only place right now you can get the blue event exclusive Godzilla uh, because unfortunately we are sold out here. Uh, they also have the other event exclusives, which is the Brawly and the Vegito, as well as, like you saw, tons of SH figure arts, tons of figure art minis, just everything you could ever want from Tomashi Nations all in one place. You can go there and you can just load up a bunch of boxes, a b- bunch of bags. And there you go. Happiness. And you can take the tour yourself too if you want to. You can just go to TomashiNations.com. Yeah, you're trying to navigate it your, better. Yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you're trying to convince your buddy to go with you, you'd be like, "Hey, check out all this stuff," and you can show them. Yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. You can plan oh. your route through the store. Oh, there you <laughs> yeah. go. That's actually worth it. Like, whenever we do like conventions, I know people like try to plan uh, which booth they want to stop at and how, like, how much time they've got allotted because they have panels to go to. So, you know, definitely planning ahead goes beyond for this kind of stuff yeah especially since our booth kind of you got a serpentine your way through mm-hmm. it and this is a much more straight and just kind of go uh counterclockwise and yeah it's always fun to watch the aerial shots of that we take of the booth where he just looks like little tiny ants just going on a million different directions and having little conversations buying everything in their at our booth cool yeah. we have one small comment over here we got a uh, Es will or s will says awesome mariners jersey is it griffey jr yes <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is whole place <laughs> there you go there you go bang the blue one is uh ichiro but the ichiro. others are all griffey yeah nice good call <laughs> very nice it's got, it's got a way better eyes than i do i wear glasses <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, awesome. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining us for our trip through the Tomashi Nations pop-up shop in New York. Uh, if you can visit, I definitely encourage you to do so. Just make sure you tag us at Bluefin Brands at Tomashi Nations so that we can share your experience with the whole world. Uh, and, you know, if you have some time today, go to bluefinbrands.com all weekend long. Uh, we are having our WonderCon sale. You have a ton of cool Storm collectibles, Tomashi Nations, Flame Toys, Shogun, everything that we distribute, uh, we have uh, available during our WonderCon event. You uh, will find something that you love. We're also doing a killer giveaway for the uh, figure arts for the final battle editions for Marvel. Just go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest uh, to enter to win there. Um, You can enter daily, so make sure that you go and enter as many times as you can because, you know, even though there's a lot of entries, someone's got to win, and it Mm -hmm. could be you. So uh, thank you so much. We are going to be having one more live stream today. We're going to be coming back at 4 o'clock PST, and we are going to play a fun game that Justin has put together for us uh, based around – Finding out who that transformer is, so you can definitely play at home. Uh, and I cannot wait to see how terrible I do in a franchise that I love. For <laughs> sure, I am going to fail this so badly. <laughs> I, I tried to be pretty obvious with the hints, so hopefully oh, that'll man. help you out a lot. So, yeah, this oh. Dino Bot can really grim and lock. Is <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it jet? Is like jet fire? <laughs> yeah, German on the board. Oh, jeez. Anyway, well, cool. Thank you very much, guys. See you at four. See you at four. Thank you so much.